everyone. Hello. <laughs> so today we are finally coming back with another, sorry I'm a bit, yeah. okay. So today we're coming back finally with another <clears throat> supermarket video, it's been a while. Um, we're at Lidl, we just pulled up and I'm really excited to go inside and get shopping. What is our budget today? I think uh, 50 pounds each for the week. No. Uh, in Aldi we did just about, I think we got it was like 24 pounds for two people. And Lidl's a similar kind of shop. Yeah. I was thinking we could we could aim for 25, but as long as we keep it under 30. I think so. Under 30 is always the, the goal for yeah. the two of us. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. But before we go in, I just wanted to let you guys know and remind you about the vegan bundle. I mentioned this in my last video on Monday. So um, there are 90 influencers online with the likes of me, Ellen Fisher, Caroline Deisler, Zana Van Dyke. There are just so many people out there. I'll list some on the screen. They're all the people out there you think of when you think of veganism and influencers online bloggers and youtubers we've all come together to support one another so that we can give you guys um the ebooks for the ebooks that we normally sell for 10 pounds 20 pounds 30 dollars whatever we're coming together to sell them all to you for 50 dollars. so there's going to be over 90 ebooks in this bundle and you get all of those for 50 dollars. the ebooks total to the cost of around two thousand dollars so the discount is insane this is not a scam this is not like there's no like hidden fees <laughs> hidden costs because i know it sounds too good to be true doesn't it um but it is a genuine thing we've just always decided to come together how can we support one another how can we you know get the veganism out there to more people and we're all basically giving each other the opportunity to sell each other's ebooks in a bundle so you can all get access to all this information if you've been wanting to go vegan if you've been wanting to eat more healthily if you want wanting to get a new fitness regime there's fitness routines in there there's vegan ebooks there's my ebook in there about minimal beauty there's holistic stuff there's stuff about um your gut health there's just so much in there it's ridiculous i'll leave a link to everything down below mm. go check it out click the link get it for 50 dollars. it's only going to last until the 9th of february so this is your only opportunity and after then all the books will go back to their normal price on sale like my books will go back to being 10 pounds each you know you buy yeah. them each on my website what, 50 dollars what's that 40 pounds yeah it's so insane it's, yeah. it's really insane and this is a genuine thing all these books are really really good quality books and they're things that I know that I personally put a lot of effort into my my ebooks. I have some of the other girls' ebooks. I do have them. Um, I had them before. I mean, I, before I bought the bundle myself, I bought the bundle myself because I wanted to get everything and see all the ebooks in there. But some of the ones in there I already own, like Zana Van Dyke's uh, fitness guide. You've seen me do it in videos before. Her guides in there. I love her. Um, and yeah, I'm going to stop talking about it now. But the link is in the description. It's only available for a really short time. And make the most of it. But let's go inside and get shopping so whilst i was editing the video i realized i completely forgot to mention i'm doing a giveaway so if you buy the vegan bundle three lucky winners are going to win a nutribullet this giveaway is just me doing it i'm buying the nutribullets and giving them to three people so yeah that's another incentive it's one of my favorite kitchen items so click the link down here to grab the vegan bundle with over three thousand recipes deal ends on friday saturday morning time Get it now because it's never coming back. Don't miss out. So we made the error of not um, not bringing your bags with us. So we have some bags we brought to work. So now I'm going to empty them. Car's a bit messy. Huh? Car's a bit messy. Oh my God, it felt, started to pour <laughs> with rain. <laughs> Help! So we don't usually shop in Lidl and the first thing I'm noticing, like the Aldi video we did, lots of plastic, so um, that's an issue for sure. If you're on a budget and you're shopping in places like Lidl and Aldi, at least in the UK, it really, it's hard to avoid plastic in that scenario. So just keep that in mind, but do the best we can. They're a bit expensive, aren't they? A little bit. What about these ones? No. I think some lettuce. Let's get some romaine. How much is this? It's 95p. I think the good thing about Aldi and Lidl is generally speaking, everything's under a pound, which is nice because you're always kind of staying in the budget. I think we're gonna get some coriander. Um, 30p. That's 
Because so it's a small bag. Okay, let's get two bags. Both no, one bag. One bag's fine okay. for a week. Yeah, that's so affordable. There's no broccoli available without plastic, and no mushrooms available without plastic. Basically, all of this is plastic. But I do love mushrooms, so we're gonna get some chestnut mushrooms. These tend to always be the cheapest. Um, so we put these in the basket. I'm gonna try and look out for British products if I can. Um, obviously, some of them won't be, but I'm gonna get some green here and kale because they've got a big mm -hmm. British thingy on there. Mm. Can't get. No. It's too, too much. How much are they? It's now pee. I feel like I'm gonna get two because if I'm gonna have the greens for the week, that's really affordable and it's from the UK, so. If we have that many potatoes, do we need sweet potatoes? Yeah. Realistically. I want one. I want one. Right. They just look really big and appetizing. So. Oh look, they do have loose potatoes. Wait, how much have compared to the Maris Pipers? Do you remember? They are like 20p more these are. for two and a half kilos, which is fine. These are? Yeah. Should we get these instead? Yeah. We also don't need quite so many. No. Do we? So, so we'll probably save money fun. actually. Yeah, so let's get like maybe six. Tell number five, please. Look at this waffle. That'll make some good chips. Some onions. They're on offer. Red onions are cheaper. We need some garlic. All that garlic is so cheap that I'm going to get one big bowl. Oh, carrots. Carrots? Always the best thing to get because they're always British and they're always really cheap. So definitely getting those. It's actually quite good in our uh, Lidl. They have everything. Tell number five, please. It's actually quite good in Lidl. They do have everything labelled with flag, so you can see um, where it's come from. So in the country, I'm sure it probably does the same in other countries too. It's just good to see you know you're getting local food. Whoa, it's not sick. Look how big these are. These will last more than a week, but I thought I could make some salad soup. things or yeah, not soup. Miso soup. Miso soup with this, yeah. and maybe some kind of salad thing. Oh yeah, with yeah. This. yeah. Or you can have it with roast. Roast the. I've got a recipe for red cabbage for like a roast dinner on my website, so we can do that. We could do a decent potato soup. That's quite um, easy peasy. They have some British apples on offer, 99p down to 75p. They always do the same as Aldi. They have the price cut stuff at the end of the aisle. Um, peaches are only 69p. They're not right. That's the thing, with peaches. You find that too. You have to like wait up two weeks before they're right you buy them. Yeah, no, not, I'll just get the apples. We do have loose nuts. Hmm. I always used to come to Little with my brother. They're salted though. We would get about half a kilo of pistachios oh, right. and eat them all in like a day basically. But I wish they would have plain ones as well because it would be good for cooking. Oh yeah. Whereas this is like snacks. Yeah, I've seen I've seen bigger Littles where they have more than that. I wish they had almonds that were not salted because so we could have them on top of porridge. Yeah. But do you have, what are they? Do you not like salty porridge? Lychees? Huh? You don't salty like salty porridge. porridge? I mean, people do put salt in porridge. Do you want to get a pineapple? Or, Seem in terms of fruit. They'll have, let's get frozen fruit, because they do yeah. really good frozen fruit. Seems though. extravagant yeah. to get a pineapple. Yeah, that's, you're right. Even if they are cheap. Away. They actually have a really good um, fruit section. Look, get a video of that. With all the loose, lovely fruit in there. Those clementines look nice up there. They've got loads of nice fruit. They've got Fruit, got I don't know, I think you were a bit harsh on Lidl at the start. I think Al, the plastic, they're actually not bad. I mean, it's quite bad. I mean, relatively. But it's not any different to any other supermarket. It's just that, I guess, like, I feel like someone else pointed this out. They're saying that Aldi and Lidl are the same. It's just that other supermarkets have more variety. Yeah. Whereas they just stick to, I guess, the most affordable option in the shop. So they don't have the plastic and the loose. They just have the one the cheapest. Yeah. Huh. Are they on offer? How much were they? These are 75p. Oh, that is quite cheap. Yeah. Again, if I was a student, this yeah. is the cheapest option, so I wouldn't like that. This is the reality. How many? I don't know, six. I mentioned this in the last video, or one of them. Get the loose bananas, because these are the ones that end up in the bin. So they're all doing this weird thing where they're stuffing plant-based burgers in the meat section, which I hate. They don't have to shop in this section. 
However, they are 149, so we can get two lots of them. Sure. Yeah. They look very realistic, don't they? Yeah. What are they made from? Soy. Mushrooms. Oh. Yeah, they're soy. Oh, they've got soy in them, but they're mainly mushrooms. It's your lucky day. starch, beetroot juice, bamboo fiber. Excited to try those out. Where have UHT soy here? Yeah, how much is that? It won't get cheaper than, I think that's the same thing. I was going to say. Yeah, it's just refrigerated. Two, one, two. Two. Yeah. The amount you get through. We have porridge oats at home because we got oats for another, the budget breakfast yeah. video I did. But porridge oats are so cheap that, yeah, we just got some at home already, so we're going to make porridge this week. Something to also consider if you're on a budget, if maybe you have a disability, which makes it harder for you to prepare food. Things in tins like pineapple slices or peach slices, they're still really nutritionally good for you because they are usually prepared and put in the tin when they are most ripe. Whereas sometimes you buy food um, on the shelf fresh and it's not as fresh. Um, same goes for frozen foods, like they've got a bad stigma for not being as nutritionally good, but they are just as good. Um, so if you are on a budget or you, know, you need uh, extra help with preparing food, Hmm. This is a good way to do it. Oh, it's easier. Maybe getting getting some. How much are they? Pineapple slices, eighty-six p, and that's quite a good pudding, I feel like. Yeah. Um, after dinner or a snack, so I'm gonna put some of these in. But yeah, no shame in getting tinned food or frozen food if that's what you need to do. Recyclable as well. Recyclable as well, exactly. Also, they do these in out middle. Really cool. Nice. I really want them. I think they're a bit too. They're one pound twenty. Could we put them in the maybe pile? Maybe. Pasta. Pasta. I look like spaghetti. Hmm? We're gonna have a fight over this. No, I like penny. Spaghetti is the cheapest though. No, twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah, you win. Okay. <laughs> I think we got some really cheap tomato sauce in Aldi, and it was absolutely revolting. Yeah. Do I think just recommend. go for chopped tomatoes, I think. I think we're just going to go for chopped tomatoes because I only did that for the video because I was like, this is budget, and when I was at uni, I was just shoved stuff in like that. If you're at uni, go ahead, get one of these. Maybe these ones are better. These look a bit better than the one we got. We got the, like, the small yeah, one, what was it? we got the cheapest value. We got like, the one that was like 20p, whereas this is like 49p. So maybe this one's better. But yeah, we're going to make our own sauce this time with some onion and garlic <laughs> and some flavours. It's not actually that hard, it just takes a bit longer. You can also just get like passata, some of this, and then have onion and garlic and some herbs and basically have that. Yeah. But it will taste nicer. Um, so I think let's do that. Could do with more car mats. No. It was a bit feeble. Huh? It was a bit feeble. Feeble? Yeah. I think we're too old and big for it now. Speak no, for like like tall. It was easier when you're like yeah. don't weigh very much. Everyone in the last video was saying to me they're not vegan about the garlic bread and they have what slices. Was... They have slices like that in Aldi that are vegan. Yeah, yeah. I featured it in the last video and everyone was like they're not. The vegan. baguette isn't. And there was something else I got in the video as well. There were everyone yeah. was saying that wasn't vegan. Everything in my videos is always vegan. Don't worry. I've been doing this for six years and now I'm doing. These are vegan. Do we want them? Mm -hmm. I'm not that bothered. I'm not, no, not really. Frozen fruits. We usually get the mixed berries, don't we? Wow, that's cheap. Yeah, really. Black forest fruits. Why do they have summer fruits? They don't like black forest fruits as much as summer fruits. Summer fruits, there we are. And then these are the other um, vegan burger option, which is actually a lot cheaper, really, because it's four of them. Yeah. And it's one pound. Anyway. Maybe we could swap one, Sw one swap of these packets. Let's swap one. You don't need to be so greedy. <laughs> and if you go back to my analysis old videos on this channel, we used to go to Aldi, um, where we used to live all the time. And we basically ate these every single week of our life, didn't we? Yeah. Um, from Aldi, because I do the same thing. They are great. They're so good. Like, Also, it's just cardboard in there. There's no... It's like, just cardboard. Yeah. I still love these now. They're really delicious. They're some of you know, the cheapest and best burgers you can buy. Um, I don't know how they compare to the Aldi ones, but I'm assuming they're pretty similar. Probably the same factory. Probably. Um, the spicy ones you've got to get though. They're the best ones. Yeah. So I'm going to put these back and get those ones instead because that's more meals. And you cook them 
Um, I always used to cook just all four and then you can have them for lunch the next day yeah. with like salad and stuff and it's, yeah, it makes it easy. So I think we've got all our goods. How much do you think it's going to be, Alex? Twenty-seven pounds. I think it's going to be twenty-eight pounds. Okay, I want to say twenty-eight pounds and one pence. It can't change. You twenty-seven say, pounds and nine. You said twenty-seven, yeah. so I you think, said it here. I think I'm going to win. Alex is going to lose. This is what we've got. This actually looks like one of the most appetising ones we've done. Aldi was not this appetising. Neither was Tesco. No. Like I swear, we've got loads more fun stuff. However. We had a smaller budget for those, didn't we? That was before we began the challenge and generally got feedback from people that we should spend a bit more money. Yeah, I mean, the rice and oats we missed out would probably cost a pound and a bit. And there's lots of the stuff that you could take out. I know that these are just really helpful to get you guys to know what you can get. You definitely don't need some of the stuff. Yeah. And it's for two people, so. Well, because otherwise it would just be the same thing every video. Yeah. We're gonna go buy it now. Find out how much it is. <laughs> Convey about little hack if you forget your bag, ask if they have any boxes like fruit boxes so you can put everything in there without having to buy a plastic bag. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, we did something really smart and we lost our receipt. We, yes, we. Sorry, who was the one who took the receipt from the cashier? So, it, we, I know it cost £27.16. 16, I think, it was literally probably the last scene on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> but we can't find the receipt, but no doubt it's probably somewhere really obvious and we'll find it yeah. in between filming this and uh, editing it, so we'll put the prices of everything on the screen. But there's so much food here, I feel like this is the most amount of food that we've ever mm. managed to get. Cool. So, yeah. we could definitely have done it in... Um, like, what was the first uh, Tesco video? Let me just double check. So the Tesco video I made, which was the first 15. one, was that... Um, that was 15. So that how much did that we spend on that one? Are you sure it was 15? Yeah, because that, that time we just did it for one and we did it like properly. 15 pounds, and then I did a 12 pound Aldi one. So yeah. we could easily have done similar to Aldi and only spent yeah. 24 quid. We just obviously bought more food. Got a few so. luxuries. Yeah, it's so so comparable, but yeah. let's just get stuck in. So here are some tins. So you saw we've got some baked beans, we've got some mixed beans, we've got two of each of those. Mm -hmm. We also got some pineapples. Yeah, for puddings. Yeah. Mm. And chopped tomatoes, we've got one with basil, one with onion and garlic, which I thought was quite nice. They had all the different if you're a bit mm. of a, a lazier cook, that's good. This was a luxury we probably didn't need to buy, um, some almonds, uh, but I needed some, so I wanted to stock up. This is the sort of thing that sits in our cupboard for a long time, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And we'll what put them... What are you going to use them for, for breakfast? Yeah, so you can chop them up and sprinkle them on breakfast, so you can use them for baking, you can have them as a snack. You know, it's a good yeah. thing to have. As a vegan, we also got some tomato passata. I think we've got two of these, but yeah. I'll find it. You did, somewhere. It'll be somewhere. And then we've got some Two veg. Cabbage. To cabbage, purple, yeah. white. Nice. There was no plastic, was there? Nope. Not bad. Yeah, I think we did quite well yeah. in that sense. And then we also got loads of potatoes. We got one gigantic sweet potato. And then we got one, two, another gigantic, <laughs> three, four, five, six potatoes. So I figured <clears throat> chips. Chips. Chips and burgers, one night maybe. Um, there was something else I forgot what we planned. Roxy. Roxy! Oh yeah, uh, jack potato baked beans. Jack of potato yeah. beans. Yeah. That's a classic student meal. Yeah, we did that last time as well. Yeah. Yes. Mushrooms. Jeez. Oh. Chestnut Split mushrooms. Over. Oh yeah, top tip. When you buy mushrooms, always take the plastic wrapping. If you get them like within plastic wrapping. wrapping. Take it off, because then it means they won't go off as quickly. Because mm. they'll sweat otherwise. They can breathe. They can and breathe. They get moldy. My least favourite. What? Some sliced curly kale, British kale, mm. good green, and it's 
yeah, you can get British kale everywhere, so that's a good one to get if you're trying to eat more locally and seasonally, and kale's a good one this time of year. Romaine hearts, um, instead of uh, iceberg lettuce, because I've got a few complaints about the iceberg lettuce last time. What? Because I was like, that's not very nutritionally worthwhile, because iceberg lettuce doesn't really have much nutrition to it. Is that but better? I like the taste of it. I think it's slightly darker and a bit more leafy, but we I mean, it's salad, those. so. Yeah. Um, Found it! Found it. Yeah. We also got some crisps because we always have to get some crisps, don't we? They're really good. This is my favourite flavour. And actually, I think the little Aldi ones I prefer to the kettle chips. Salt and black uh, pepper. Yeah. I prefer most of the supermarket and brown ones. So I like Tesco's the best. Yeah. Hey ho. Um, and then soya unsweetened. We've got two of these. Really cheap. Oh, yeah. There's one buried in there. It's getting. The Skeddy. It's Al's fave, isn't it? Found it! One, two, three, four. Yep. So I replace my fingers? Yep. <laughs> four carrots. These we can put in stir fry, you can put it in. I love to grate carrot and put it in with spaghetti, yep. bolognese, because you can't taste it, but you're getting some vegetables in. I did that uh, the other day, last night, with. Uh, stir fry. Yeah. yeah it was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. These are quite bruised, but they that's are quite okay. bruised. But we usually eat bananas in a smoothie, so they don't. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, but they're the ones that don't get bored because they're bruised. But yeah. really, they taste the same. They don't taste bad. Unless, I don't mind. Unless you're eating it whole, but then you know, who cares? Yeah. I don't. One. What's this? Puree. Puree. Double concentrate. It's always double concentrate. Ah. Oh. These, these look really good actually. Yeah, really good Big ones. peppers. Leek. Leek, we can make, oh yeah, that was it. We're gonna make some leek and potato soup. So I'll probably put carrot. Did we buy celery or something? No, we didn't. Nope. So um, I'll probably make like a vegetable soup, like a leek and potato, but I'm probably gonna put some cabbage in there and I'll probably put some carrot in there just to bulk it out. Like kale in. Put it a bit of kale in. Put the kale in. Yeah, you can just make a soup that has like the bulk. But like, if you have leeks and carrots and onion and, at the base, you can put whatever. The potato will make it filling. And then you can put like greens in to make it even healthier. Onion. Onion. No loose onions. There were no middle. loose onions. We've got a big bag but of onions. They had gigantic garlic. Yeah. Gosh. Lovely garlic. So lots of fresh produce. I'm quite yeah. happy with this amount of stuff, really. No and sourdough. If you notice, I don't think it's too terrible in plastic packaging in the sense that we were able to get stuff that doesn't mm. really need to be packaged. I understand why kale needs to be packaged like this, um, unless you're buying it on the the leaf, which, you know, if it's pre-prepared kale like this, then that's just how it comes. Same with lettuce, yeah. like it's always gonna come Some like this. Them, like onions, leeks. They could come loose. Other supermarkets do it loose, but I guess that's how they kind of save money and make it cheaper. But I swear most supermarkets do cabbage in like vacuum wrapped. So. Yeah. You're right, they do. Well, let's stick with the vegetables. Yeah. Again, yeah. apples. We could have got um, new apples, couldn't we? But these are cheaper. And I was trying to think in the mindset of a student or someone who's trying to be on a budget. Yeah. They were half the price, weirdly. This is the battle, Why? so don't come for me in the comments. I'm trying to show vegan living, sustainable living, yeah. all this kind of living in an accessible way and make you realize that it's not always about plastic. It's not always about all these sort of kind of things like you have to kind of sometimes make do and do your best. And mm. in this scenario, if I was someone who was on a budget of 10, 15 pounds a week, I would be counting my pennies. I used to count my pennies when I was a student and it would mean that I d did not care. I would get the cheapest thing. <clears throat> that was my yeah. priority. And I can cut back in other areas like cycling to class or, mm. you know, eating a vegan diet, other things like that. And I thought, you know what? This is something I can't afford. Yeah, but for other people who can afford it, maybe think about testing out whether the plastic free options are really that much more expensive because i think most of the time they're not no. sometimes apples are and i don't know why that is like buy them in a four pack they're half the price but also this is something that's actually come up in my mind a lot recently if you're going to shop at supermarkets sometimes buying stuff in plastic packaging is not as bad as you think because it's so demonized nowadays and I, hear me out here i'm not saying the plastic is good however in terms of so what waste, 
In terms of food waste, like you're talking about the apples, part of the reason is because these apples that are in a tray with plastic on them, these are not going to get as bruised, these are not going to get as wrecked, there's going to be less of them that are going to be thrown away. However, if you have a big shipment of um, apples and then they're, you know, thrown out loose, a lot of them will end up getting bruised and then thrown away and people won't buy them. So I can understand why plastic sometimes has its use. Obviously, it's preferable that you just go to your farmer's market or your, we, for example, get a fruit and veg delivery from Riverford. So we don't have to worry about that because we get the plastic free option anyway. However, it's not always as cut and dry as that. There's nuance to this for sure. Unless you're one of those people who gets one onion, puts it in a plastic bag, puts it in their trolley. <laughs> That's yeah. my least favourite thing. Yeah, but like if you're shopping at a supermarket, there are things that come into it. Like there are certain perishable fruits like this that end up getting, you know. Hmm. But don't, this is not me saying defending plastic, by the way. I'm just giving another idea to the to the table. Anyway, um, here's some bread. This is wholemeal seedly farmhouse. Looks delicious. That's gonna be perfect for breakfast, sandwiches that kind of thing, mm. um, because sometimes I'm in a rush and I do not have time to make breakfast, so Mushrooms, I'll just have... Beans on toast? I'll just have Marmite on toast Sandwich. or something. Yeah. Marmite on toast. Oh yeah. Perfect. Baby plum tomatoes. Again, did they have any loose tomatoes? I don't think they did. I don't remember no. them having any loose ones. Um, maybe they did. Coriander. Coriander. And spring. spring onions. And this was your luxury buy. This is my luxury buy. As was this. You yeah. didn't don't need these things. No. Um, you could just oh, have. Oh wait. There's uh, the frozen burgers in the freezer. Oh yeah. And go, the fruit. Go grab. So these are the devilish, devilishly. That's a hard word devilishly. to say. Devilishly dark chocolate, plant based, um, out pro. I've not actually had the dark chocolate one, but we usually get the normal one, the milk chocolate one, the milk chocolate one. But they are good. They're great. They're delicious. Um, great snack. Great pudding. Catch. And these are the famous. Uh, spicy bean burgers that I literally used to live off. This with a sweet potato fries and a salad. Incredible dinner or lunch or whatever. We also got some plant-based burger patties, which I'm really excited to try. I think we'll have to have those and use these as like burger buns. And maybe some spring onion and tomato and yes. stuff like that. And this, this is all kind of mushed together because it defrosted because um, we walked. <laughs> we walked to Roxy yeah. before we came home. Yeah. We've got some summer fruits which we can make some smoothies with and also put on top of oats, yeah. that kind of thing. Tell you what I do like, I know some supermarkets don't, but I've always noticed for years and years little have said if it's vegan or not on their own brand stuff. Yeah, they which do. I quite appreciate. Very, I appreciate it as well. Yeah. Very appreciate it. So we can make a smoothie meal. or something. Yeah. So that is our haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next episode because we'll show you how we eat yep. all of this. We do have food in the cupboards, so we will be consuming this with the stuff we already have. We'll try to minimize it. And yeah. also, if it's excessive, as some people have said, you could add it onto the budget, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Or explain, I don't know. Yeah, we'll show you. But I think everyone yeah. just appreciates it anyway. So yeah. thanks for the support on these videos. I'm gonna keep doing them um, because I know that it's really helpful for people to understand how to shop on a budget when they're vegan, because lots of people want to go vegan, but it's it's tricky to figure out how to do it. Mm. The biggest thing I can tell you to do is learn how to cook. Follow my recipe videos, because if you learn how to cook, you will save yourself so much money. Um, and there are lots of very simple recipes. You don't have to enjoy cooking. You can batch cook, you can meal prep, you can um, do it in advance so you don't have to like, you know, spend every day cooking. I personally love cooking, as I'm sure you know by now. You like cooking, don't you? Yes. So if you enjoy cooking, then make it like a little meditative time of your day yeah. where you can take time out from class or revising or take time out from, you know, doing other things that you're busy with and have some time to yourself. Yeah. Anyway. So how many supermarkets is that now? So we've done Tesco, Aldi, Asda, Asda. Lidl, and now we need to do Waitrose, Sainsbury's. Co-op, Morrison's, Morrison's. Co -op so you've got hard. loads to do. Co-op's impossible. Co-op might be tricky because it's more of a convenience. I have to get to a big one. Yeah, they're usually smaller. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. And Roxy <laughs> hasn't made an appearance, so she's here and she says goodbye! Yeah. Bye! <laughs>